This is the November 2018 extended uh, MYP e-assessment. I'm going to go through this question by question. So starting off with question one. And of course this uh, assessment is done on a computer. I have taken uh, shots of it so we can go through it and uh, I can make notes. So here's question one. Uh, we've got an example of a mathematical wall clock. Um, each of these little expressions uh, represents the number. So 1 cubed is 1. 4 times what is 8? 4 times 2 is 8. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So this represents the numbers of the clock. Square root of 36 is 6. And in the process of designing a new mathematical clock, four values have been inserted in the correct diagram on the correct place in diagram 1. So we have to label the mathematical clock by placing the values in the correct places. So let's have a look. Okay, so I've got my draggable values. So on your e-assessment, you would drag these across into the correct places. Um, so we've got already a few in place. And so we need to pick some of these. So you would, hopefully, on your... Um, You'll have a piece of paper that you can write stuff down. I'm going to start off with this one, log 16 to the base 2. Now hopefully you remember how to actually figure this out. Now if you go to your formula booklet, there is a big clue. We've got our exponents and logarithms uh, which we can use. If I just take a quick screenshot of that. So this is the one that converts from logs back into exponents. Straight out of your formula booklet. So we're told log b to the base a is the same as a to the x equal to b. So if I put, um, if I put this equal to x, and use this to convert it into an exponent. It's going to be basis 2 to the power of x is equal to 16. So 2 multiplied by itself how many times gives us 16? Well, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So that's 4 times, so x is equal to 4. So you could drag there's 3, this is 4, log 16 to the base 2, and put it in here. Uh, let's have a look at the first one. I've got 2 cos squared theta plus 2 sine squared theta. Now, it doesn't look very nice, but if I ever see something like this where I've got 2 and I'm adding another um, function with the 2 in front, um, if in doubt, you can factorise out that too. And hopefully then when you do that, so 2 times cos squared is 2 cos squared. This has to be just sine squared. So that's just factorising. And then again, using your formula booklet, all this information is in here, so please make sure you know where it is. I'm pretty sure... This one is not. It's a form of the Pythagoras theorem. You're given this trig identity, not the one that I was after. But hopefully you remember that cos squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. So cos squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. So this is just 2 times 1, which is 2. So this would go in here. 2 cos squared theta plus 2 sine squared theta. All right, let's now look at uh, this one. So we've got the modulus, or the absolute value of 8 to the third minus 25 to the half. So 8 to the third, that means it's the 
cube root of 8 minus the power of a half means the square root of 25. So the cube root of 8 is 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. The square root of 25 is 5 because 5 times 5 is 25. So that gives us 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. So we would put this one in here. Okay, now we've got one left, and it doesn't look particularly nice, but I can see that I've got x's in both terms in the top. I've got factors, multiples of 7, so I'm going to take out 7 and the x as a common factor. So 7x times 2x gives me my 14x squared. And I've got my plus 1, because 7x times 1 is 7x. I'm going to take out a common factor as well on the bottom of just x. Um, and that gives me 2x times x is 2x squared, plus 1, because x times 1 is x. And this is good because I can see that I can now simplify. 2x plus 1 cancels, so x is cancel. And I'm just left with 7. So I can write, so there's 6, this is 7, this is dr14, x squared plus 7x over 2x squared plus x. So that's question 1. If you've got any questions on that, just let me know.